reminder to subscribe if you haven't already and check out the guild and the discord while you're down there. Hello people and welcome back to news review. This week there are only three new cards but a load of events so let's get right into it. There's a new ultimate card water human Cynthia. Uh, it's a 1 out of 2 skill active so you can only choose one at a time. Uh, it's CD6. Basically a downgraded effect of Todoroki. You can freeze or ignite the enemies and you know turn water and fire into enchanted water or turn water and fire into enchanted fire uh no sky dropping shenanigans uh there is like the sustained damage on the enemy but that, that probably isn't going to be very important and water or fire can be dissolved by aligning two or more of them in the first batch i don't see this card being used uh you know a lot because uh it's just a worse todoroki but if you don't have todoroki uh you can you can get this card, I think it will be used as a replacement if it can sometimes. Next up is an event card, Shroy, uh, Fire Demon, as a leader it's kind of a meme, and then for the active it's CD6, clear the hypnotized state of the character, change him into Fatigue into Hyper, and then for one round team attack and recovery times 1.5, and members in a hyper state attack and recovery times 1.5 additionally. This card's kind of bad because it only clears himself and not the whole team. If he cleared the whole team, that would be quite good. As it stands right now, he gives a very low uh, attack multiplier to the team. And he also only clears himself. So I'm putting him in like a half trash tier. But you know, you should get him just in case. Uh, the last card is a bi-weekly card. York Earth Elf CD6 release the lock skills of the character. So only unlocks himself. And then after unlocking, he enters a hyper state for three rounds. Turn fire into heart and water into earth. For three rounds, you get an enchanted trail, which is quite okay. But there have already been, you know, a, a few elf cards in the past that can unlock. So, you know, get one of this card just in case. Moving on to the celebration events. Uh, one of the most important things is there is the returning event school festival. You can get stuff like the Takuyaki seal, which is a seal that allows you to recover without uh, recovery. Um, there is a returning ultimate stage of Selena, Earth Elf. This is an okay card. I mean, get one. It's not particularly high use rate. Uh, there also be the campus tour collector's deck returning. It has these five cards, which is the main uh prize i guess out of the five there are three that i think are particularly good first off is of course the octopus javanor basically the uh oc version of yoko from uh gurun lagan it's a fire dragon though but still quite good i've used this card like a bit in the past i mean i don't think people put her in the team just because like there's actually not much use for this in a dragon team and Yoko was mainly used for her uh, human, like used to put in the human team, so that's that. Uh, Nocturne can absorb the first attack of an enemy no matter what, so this is like uh, hard, like ultimate damage reduction. And then uh, Oria and Nessoi is the OC version of the Eva 13, whatever. Uh, Calm account equals 13 and you can choose the columns to explode a uh, pretty good card back then okay card nowadays still so uh, if you want any of these cards watch out for that uh, there will also be the special mission coming back and then that is about it there is something new here I think or I didn't notice this anyway uh, the Asteria missions, the like yellow Asteria and the violet Asteria for this year are only for this year. They'll be like until uh, the end of January of 2023. Uh, the material summon seal case and the collector's deck, yes, the one with Atlantis in it right now that you can uh, pull with the violet Asteria, will actually be going. So uh, if you haven't gotten everything out of that collector's deck, you know. Now is the time to farm for Violet Asteria, and it would also be the time for me to uh, maybe put out that uh, collector's deck analysis video before it becomes obsolete. Uh, that's it for this video. If 
you like this, please give a like. If you have any questions, leave down in the comments down below. And if you like this in general, please subscribe. And I'll see you next video. See ya.